decided once I finished my PG and I came back home after finishing my course, that is when I downloaded the Speed app and I took the subscription. And I did almost all Q banks at least twice in Speed app and gave almost six to seven GTs before going. And the one GT, which was just scheduled four to five days before the final exam was, I think, match winning for me to get this rank. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of Speed to Dr. Pranay Lamba for scoring a very good rank of 198 in DM Anasisya Group in the session of NEET SS2024 session. Congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. So can we know a brief background from where you started till date, what all you have done? Yes, sir. So I'm uh, Dr. Pranay. I'm from Bangalore. I've done my MBBS from Sri Siddhartha Medical College, Tumpur. And I've done my MD Anesthesia from uh, Kasturba Medical College, Manipal. I've just passed out in February of 2025. And this was my first attempt in NEET SS. Great. Now, great accomplishment we used to know. Why? Superficiality and DM anesthesia. Because once anesthesia is over MD, go get a freelancer, go practice. Or join a corporate hospital, then start earning. What's happening here? So like, uh, we had uh, really good cardiac postings back in MD. So it was one month of, you know, daily we used to do at least one to two cases of CABG or any valve replacement. So from there, and we had a really good cardiac anesthetist as well so and he was really good with us he would teach us so that's where i got the interest to do dm cardiac anesthesia and that's why i wanted to pursue this you want to do cardiac anesthesia yes sir you know how intense is it yes huh yeah you have to you have to monitor beat by beat yes 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 so in a cardiac surgery who's most important cardiac anesthetist or cardiac surgeon uh i'll stick by cardiac anesthetist as my answers. why so I think it's more to do with the anesthetist monitoring everything. Yeah, surgeon is also playing an equally important role in getting the vascular supply in place again. But I think it's a teamwork at the end of the day. But I'll still support my branch as well. My branch, but the reason is not correct. Your branch only, but the reason is not correct. But I tell you, you, if you don't want the surgeon to operate, you can't allow him also. You have a full control. Yes. You understand what I say? Yes, sir. True. Yes, whether yes. surgeon to operate or not is decided with anesthetist here. Yes. Especially for beating heart. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. A strict control on monitoring is very important for a peaceful surgery. Yes. So, we will first look for a comfortable cardiac anesthetist for yes. us to have a good outcome. Yes. So, we love cardiac anesthetist. You know that. Yes. <laughs> As a cardiac surgeons. So, a great specialty. Welcome. Yes. So, and it's a great career ahead. So, so can we know what you did? So, you decided to go ahead and what you did from that date and what is the preparation strategy to reach, reach what you have reached today? Uh, sir, like uh, I, our PG, as we know, like we had good volume of patients in PG. So, a lot of in OT experience we had with cases. So, I decided once I finished my PG and I came back home after finishing my course, that is when I downloaded the Speed app and I took the subscription. And I did almost all Q banks at least twice in speed app and gave almost six to seven GTs before going. And the one GT, which was just scheduled four to five days before the final exam was, I think, match winning for me to get this rank. Yeah, it was like the GT, which was there just four to five days before NEET SS on 30th. I think that was really match winning for me to get the rank. Why? What, what, what happened? What is special in that? So I think I think a lot of questions directly came from that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. a lot how, of how, many, how many questions came directly? But I think I can say I I mean as far as I can remember, it's been a while. At least I think twenty to twenty five questions was straight from that GT that we gave just five days before the test. Somebody told me this just a few hours back. Honestly, yeah. it was straight. I mean, it was not even a word difference from one. It was the same punctuation marks. Everything options were in the same order as well. So. <laughs> Those kind of questions really help. Uh, so it makes a huge difference. Yes, sir. And I was not really expecting this rank to be frank. When I finished the exam, I thought maybe I'll end up 300 to 400 rank. So 198 was a big shocker to me as well. Yeah. See, because GTs are specially curated. Yes. Not just conducted that way. Yeah. How many questions we can expect? What are the expected questions? How we can do it? So that students yeah. get the last push. And the last two GTs or last three GTs. Yeah. Any specialty that we do make a huge difference. 
is so like i thought of like because i didn't really have so much time to go through a lot most of the videos so i tried to do the gt method i gave as many gts as possible even one day before my exam also i gave one gt and went that also went pretty well it my rank was between 200 to 220 in that as well but it was still a post test but i was like a little confident after giving the gts that i can do it. you remember uh, three days or one week or 10 days before i release a video actually Yes, I gave at least seven to eight GTs. Was what you told. Oh, I will keep stressing the last GT. I don't stress on first yes. to last, the last ones. Yes. Before the exams. Okay, great. How many questions did you give in this exam? Sir, I attempted around one forty-five questions. You missed five questions. Yeah, I was like completely blank. I couldn't even rule out even one option in that. So I thought not worth the risk right now. Okay, great. So, what will be your advice for the future aspirants of DM and CSS with specialty? So I think like to focus in your OT as well, get as much knowledge from your OT because that also helps a lot of questions are intra-op management so that if you do a lot of more cases, but then may, some centers may not have that much exposure. So I think taking the speed up is like very important to get a good rank at the end of the day and doing as many GTs and as many videos as you can also before the exams and give at least seven to eight GTs like you stress in every video is my advice. And I'm sure you'll come out with a good rank. <laughs> Great. So, time to thank whom all you want to thank. They helped you and supported you. So, I think to start with, I like to thank my parents firstly. Like they've supported my education till now, very important, and they supported my sister as well, supported my brother-in-law as well. Has been very supportive throughout my PG, and then like to thank my HOD of anesthesia as well, who's been very supportive, gave us time to study as well, and. He did that, and and my guide as well for thesis guide for giving me all the support, and all my staff of anesthesia department from KNC Manipal, and I think I've learned a lot from them, and it's also played a role in me getting a good rank today. Great, doctor. We once again wish you all the best and all the success for a great career ahead in cardiac anesthesia. As a cardiac anesthetist, you're going to help a lot of cardiothoracic surgeons and you're going to save a lot of lives. Best wishes to you once again. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.